Hey guys, so today we'll be showing you how to set up and program a single sensor ATO function for your standalone GHL dosing pump. For this setup, you'll need an unused dosing pump head, a float or optical sensor, a level sensor bracket, and a level sensor assembly rod. To get started, take the GHL float or optical sensor and connect it to the green port on the back of the doser. This port will be labeled as level 1 and 2. Next, connect to your standalone doser and go to the level settings page. Here is where you'll find all the settings related to the doser's ATO and automatic water change functions. In this same page, you'll also find settings for adjusting a level sensor's reaction time. We'll cover that part shortly. Now, to set up the ATO function, select an unused control circuit, then set the operation mode to auto top off. Once that's done, set the desired maximum on time. This max on time feature is the failsafe for this function. If for any reason the assigned ATO sensor does not respond, this feature will automatically shut down the assigned dosing pump to prevent an overflow or flood. For example, by setting this feature to 5 minutes, you are allowing the assigned ATO pump to run for up to 5 minutes. If this time limit expires, the dosing pump will trigger the failsafe and activate an alarm. When an alarm is activated, the doser's LED indicator will begin flashing red. For this feature, we recommend you set a time that gives the assigned pump enough time to dispense the needed amount of ATO water. For the next step, check this box if you'd like to automatically reset the alarm after the failsafe has been triggered. With this box checked, the alarm will be reset once the assigned ATO sensor detects normal water level. If you want the ATO function to be always on, leave this box checked. If you want to run the ATO function on a schedule, uncheck this box and select the timer number that will be responsible for determining the on-off times for the ATO function. The next step is to select the sensor number that will be used for this function. Since the sensor is connected to the level 1 and 2 port, select sensor 1. Once that's done, type in a description in both fields, then click OK. If you'd like to set a specific reaction time for this sensor, you can do so here. This feature allows you to set a delayed reaction time for the selected sensor. By default, the sensor is set to react after one second. To adjust the reaction time, click three times fast on the sensor of choice, enter the desired reaction time, and then click Save Changes. Once that's done, select the dosing pump you wish to use for ATO purposes. Set the pump to react to level control, then select the control circuit number you used when you created the ATO function. For example, we created the ATO function using control circuit number 1. Because we used control circuit number 1, we would select number 1 here. If we had used control circuit number 2, we would select number 2. With that done, assign this pump to the fill water ATO only function. Then click Save Changes. You can now go ahead and set the fill levels for your ATO reservoir. Type in the capacity of your container, and then specify if you want to trigger an alarm once the fluid level drops below the minimum level. You can activate this feature by putting a check in this box. Click Refill Container and type in the amount of milliliters currently in the ATO reservoir. Then click OK. Type in a description in both fields, click Save Changes, and you're done. Thanks guys for watching this video. If you have any questions for us, feel free to post on our GHL support forum or send us an email for one-on-one -on -one support. Links and contact info can also be found in the description box below. Until next time folks, take care.